Okay, folks, look, check it out. This is really backed by popular demand, right? Listen, everybody wants to know how can I make, you know, my fried cabbage, you know, and level it up. Listen, this right here, I got something for you. And we finna level it up with a little egg noodle. Hey, with that being said, we finna get right into this. Okay, folks, look, what you looking at right now, this is my chicken and dewy sauces. Look, got that there, got some green onions. But this right here in the back, this gonna be the thing right here. Listen, check this out. These are them extra wide egg noodles. This gonna be what we gonna level it up with, right? So over here, we got some ingredients over here. We got veggies, you see the garlic. Obviously, I'm gonna be using my press, right? And then if you guys come over here, take a look right here, I'm giving you guys two options to go ahead and add a little bit of that flavor, right? And that's your, you know, you either use stock or broth, or you can use that, uh, this right here, better than bouillon. Listen, that'll get you that chicken flavor. Hey, super easy to use, real, real big on taste. And then if I bring this over here like this, check this one out right here. We're gonna start it off with bacon grease. All right, now look, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get my water to boiling, right? Cause like I said, we gotta make the, you know, these egg noodles, right? So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a pro tip. Man, I'm so tired of burning myself back here. Look, I'm gonna take it like this. I'm gonna break it away from myself. Let the steam come out that way. And then we take it off, right? So this is 16 ounces. I'm gonna make this whole complete bag, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get me some salt, right? And I'm gonna give this a couple of pinches, right? Feel that, open up my noodles, but I wanna get myself a wooden spoon. Any type of wooden spoon works. Let me stir this salt. Get that to, you know, dissolve in my water. First thing, we just start adding a little bit to it. Now with egg noodles, I kinda like just watch them. You know what I mean? Cause I wanna bring them back up to a boil, right? My water back to a boil, but I like to keep stirring them. For some reason, these will, you know, do the little stick. I know you guys thinking like, why he don't put no oil in there? But you gotta know that I went to school and they told me oil and water do not mix, folks. So we just gonna figure it out. All right, so look, now that my water come back to a boil, like I said, I like to just give it a stir, right? And we gonna cook this to the consistency that I like, right? Meaning, when my texture is what I want this to be, that's when I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna go ahead, I got my colander in my sink right now. Once I pour this, once it gets to where it's at and I pour it in there, I'm gonna shock it with that cold water and stop the cooking process. Okay, so listen, while I'm checking my noodles, I'm still, you know, stirring, we getting there, right? I'm gonna go ahead and prep you know, my veggies. Okay, so pay attention. Look at that right there. That's what I want. And then we all know, I know some of y'all thinking like, man, maybe I need to throw it up against the refrigerator or something like that. Nah, you ain't gotta do that. You just take it and you just hold this up against the side and let me try to get one. Remember, these are the twisty kind. You know what I mean? Uh, and then I'll just give it a little pressure. Ah, that's it. I don't wanna go no further. Yes, sir. Now, Check it out, when I talked about shocking it, this is for all my new folks. Check this out. All right, so this is what I do. When I say that, collar it in the sink. Oh, let me move this back. If you guys pay attention right here, listen, I practice what I preach. Always have you some hot soapy water, right? So I wash as I go. That way when I'm finished cooking, it's not no chore. So we just go ahead, pour it in there just like that. Now we wanna stop this, so we immediately hit it with that cold water. This is what I mean when I say shock it. We don't want it to continue to cook. Same thing when I do when I'm outside on that grill. Anytime you take something out at 160, it's gonna rise up to 165. But we wanna stop this right here. And you can see just the way I hit it, look at how it kinda like shimmer. This is the texture and the softness that I like. Some of you guys might want it to be a little harder, or some of you guys might wanna even take it down a little further. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and finish, you know, just, you know, prepping our veggies. Right, so once I get this down like this, you know, I take it and that's up to you guys. If you wanna go ahead and dice them down real small, you can, you know what I mean? But I'm doing this for texture and taste. So look at that right there, that's a good size. You know what, I wanna be able to see it and I wanna be able to taste them and I want them to have a little integrity. All right, look, you guys can see I got my veggies done. I'm gonna cut these probably like in like an eighth and eighth, right? Cut it half and then half those, right? And then put them in here. But here's the key. I'm getting ready to start with some bacon fat. Now, if you guys looked at any of my uh, videos before when I do cabbage, I start off with some bacon, you know what I mean? And I let the bacon, you know, render some grease for me. But here, I like to just give it just a couple of tablespoons, right? We'll start right here. We're not gonna use the bacon. All the meat gonna be today is that chicken and dewy. All right, so look, you can see it's melted. I can just move this around. Look at that right there. Now, 
I like to do, if you follow me for a minute, I know they say it don't make a difference, but I like to go ahead and start everything for me with my onion, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my onion in. I know it's hot, you can hear it. Now that sizzle right there, don't forget, these veggies, you know, it's half water anyway, probably more than even half, right? So let me just cut this one down. Oh. All right, as soon as you drop this in here and it hit that bacon grease, listen, I can just tell you right now, the aromatic that comes off of that tell you, uh-oh, this cat might be getting ready to do something with them onions, like maybe take them all the way down and make them grill. But look at them though, folks. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now you can hit it with any type. You can hit it with a little salt, maybe like a half a teaspoon of you know, some Creole kick, you know, whatever you wanna do. But I'm just gonna give you guys and put you guys in the ballpark you know, and get you going, right? All right, so now I'm gonna bring my bell peppers, right? So we just drop those in. And again, I always give my onions just a, you know, a head start. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get that chicken and do it. Now I'm gonna let you guys come in here for uh, one of them money shots. And I wanna show it to you before I even actually stick it in there. You know what I mean? Uh, so let me just move this out the way. You know what I mean? Let me just cut these down. You cut them how you want to. You can cut them like this. I'm gonna cut another one down a little smaller. You know what I mean? Cause I got people here that wanna, they gonna hog it. But if you look right there, you see that color, that orange right there? That is the andouille seasoning. That right there is what we want that to bleed into this bacon fat, get all over the onions and the bell peppers. You know what I mean? And then once we introduce the cabbage, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so let me finish uh, cutting them up. Then we go from there. All right, so look, this is what I do for all of the people that like to come over and hog up everything, right? So I cut it down like that. Oh, let me take you back old school. Remember this? The skillet, you put it down, you fry it. Oh my God. Come on, AB, don't do them like that. All right, so look, I'm gonna take it, take the point. Just come on down like this. Make sure I got, you know, two halves. And I can't even take credit to this. You know, all my life, man, I was taking them like this and cutting them down. Somebody said, one of their followers said, hey, bro, you're doing it way, you're working way too hard. Look, get them like this and look. Now for the greedy folks that just want to make sure that they get some, you can make sure that all your people get fed. All right, so look, I take the meat, right? And now we just drop this in. You see that right there? That's that andouille sausage. You want to get make sure that all that andouille, all of them seasonings and all of that, you want to get it hot, let it just marinate and bring tie everything. Well, I ain't gonna say tie everything together. It's on its way. And the reason I say I'm not gonna say that because I got an ingredient that I didn't show you guys and that's what's gonna do it. But look at that right there, folks. All right, folks, look, I'm gonna leave it alone. But if you look at the onions, look at them. They're starting to turn a different color. That's all of the flavor from my sausage and everything like that. Look at it, look at the color. Look at it, let me just move this back. I'm not patting myself on the back. Listen, I'm smiling because I'm giving up the game. If you guys not doing that and it's not turning this color right here, we doing something wrong, folks. We gotta go ahead and read that chapter one more time. Now, this is going. Look, now I'm gonna introduce my garlic. This right here gets all of the garlic. Just your yield, what you get from this, you almost get 100% of it, right? So I take it, I take the back of my knife and I just hit it like that. And then it drops on the top, not actually, not actually hitting the, you know, the bottom of the pan, right? So we just do another one. Once it hits that heat, Listen, this medley of aromatics that's coming out of here, I can't explain it, but you guys know. All right, so look, come on over here and take a look. This right here is the secret ingredient, and this is what ties everything into it. And don't forget, this is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? I just take my knife, I got a sharp knife, just work my way down, and this is what we have. Now, I just split that, right? So I'm gonna show you this little piece right here. What I do is, I just cut this down like that. I don't know, I call that like the heart or something like that, but you know what I mean? Uh, be careful if you got a sharp knife, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't want to slip through. I just take this piece right now and just discard it. Now you cut yours down however you guys want to do it, but I'm gonna cut mine down like this, right? And that's how it is gonna be, you know what I mean? If you want to, you could take maybe just some of this right here and just hit it in half. But don't forget, this is nothing but a, a water veggie. This cabbage right here, when I put it in there and it hit that steam, what it's gonna do is it's gonna, you know, weather and get a little smaller, right? 
So you, this is where I talked about, you could use chicken broth, stock, you know, just a quarter cup. But for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in here. This is that better than bouillon. I got a little teaspoon right here. You don't need no whole lot of this. You know what I mean? Uh, the more you put in here, the stronger this will be. And this is gonna give you something too, cause don't forget, we gonna steam these. Okay, so as you can see, oh my goodness. Now I'm just gonna pour this in there, right? If anything settled down on the bottom or whatever, we wanna get it all. Right, we want to bring that back to a boil. I want to hear it boiling. All right, so now that we have that back, everything nice, hot, and boiling, guess what? Y'all remember hammer, but it's cabbage time. All right, so what I'm doing is just stirring this around, right? And I should have said this from the beginning, you want to have a pot to have a top, right? Because we want to steam it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on right now and let it just build up some steam and it'll start wheeling, wheel, you know, wiltering down, right? So I have another head of cabbage over here. This one's a little smaller. So we do the exact same thing because it's going to take all of that. Hey, so listen, this is going to be the telltale sign that everything is going right inside your pot, right? You see that right there? That's steam, folks. That ain't no smoke. That's that steam. That working in the inside is helping that cabbage get nice and soft. Listen, I got to quit laughing. I can't wait to eat some of this. All right, so listen, look at that right there. I knew I didn't have to do nothing. I knew it's right. We almost there to my liking, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna leave the top off from here on out. Reason being, any of the steam or anything that needs to evaporate, it can. But I'm telling you that right there. Uh, now, don't forget, we haven't even added our pasta noodles to it, right? So now I'm gonna come to that. This right here is right. You know what I mean? Only thing I'm looking at right now, man, maybe I should have put a little bit more sauces in this. Bacon would have been nice too, but I promise you this is a filling meal. Very, very budget friendly. You know what I mean? Over the top with the flavor. And listen, we've been tasting it. I have been tasting it as I go. I apologize you guys. I hadn't said nothing to you, but listen, I taste it all stages. Now, let me go ahead and take some pictures, make it a star. And you guys know I already did. That's why you're here already, right? So let me put it in a bowl, take some pictures. Here it is. I done took pictures, did all of that. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and hit some of this. Ooh, right off the back. Got some cabbage. Got some of that egg noodle. Get this back in there. Hey, look. Uh oh, dang it. Let's try it again. Anyway, cheers, y'all. Look at that. Hey, listen to egg noodle. I can't say enough about it. We got looking for something different, but in the ballpark, you know what I mean? Instead of just frying it always the way I normally do it, try it this way and let me know what you think. Hey folks, listen, I am not finna over talk it. You guys tell me when you make it, what would you do to take it over the top? I know you guys got some secrets too, let's do it. Only thing I'm gonna tell you missing is, just that sweet cornbread, that, that right there would have been fire. Hey, but I can tell you this, I live out here in Vegas and I probably wouldn't be going out tonight. Hey, now with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Listen, if you don't, let me tell you, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Man, I don't know what to do. I got some Kool-Aid over there. I'm finna sit down, and, you know, drink and eat. I'm out. Peace.